Kata and Sandan. And so And sanda. So we've got some unique details again in this kata. For the first move, just like all the others, you need that preparation. And often that's missed. So often this happens. So make sure again this points the full block and the full elbow back position here and not this type of action here. As we step up, these moves here, they are uchiuki, they are Get down right. Now, Uchiuki, okay. as we know, starts from down here. Get down right starts from up there. So it's not just this type of action. Okay, he comes in and out, and in out, down, down at the same time. So in this way. So it's worth persevering and just practicing this until it becomes quite automatic. Just also something which is confusing, it's a, quite often a crash here. Uh, to do this right, always, that the, the Gidam Rai is the one that travels closest to the body there, with the Uchi being on the outside. And in this instance, my right hand is further away, but when I do it my other way, my left hand is further away. Another way of explaining it is that the Gidam Rai comes almost soars through the elbow of your of your cheek. Uh, same on both sides there. Uh, the second one from there though does require more effort and skill to get a full preparation and get around once before we block. From this position, Mortuki as before, but this time in back stance. The nukute like in here Nidan, same thing applies, make sure you block down enough so that this travels properly without having to do something weird with it. But from there, this action, twist, this twist this way, at the same time there's a push here, this, at the same time you start to step. So this is how you start Tetsui, there, around and back. Okay, sometimes you see this action, but taught that this goes around behind the back, there, so that might work in, uh, for application, but in terms of just performance, it's not necessary. Like most applications, there's, you adapt it to, to fit. So from there, there's a twist, an anti-clockwise twist, and a lean, and a body starts to come around. From there, then, standard stepping and punching. After we've done this, we're going to come around, position here. No need to lift, do anything weird with this. Simply, arm does this as your body rotates. The knee lift now is covering the groin, so it doesn't just come up to the side here, it needs to cover across. Think about bringing it to the opposite elbow, but without twisting the body, because this twist needs to be left until, until the elbow broke. And again, this is a stamp, but again, this is quite often missed out, it becomes kind of a bit of a passive, doesn't really do anything. And that is important, and it's not done with the, this, but it's done from this action with the body here. So it's up, and then this must travel up and down. Could be quite difficult on the shoulder, might be more difficult on my left shoulder, I've got a bit of an injury there, so it's harder, but it should travel down onto the bridge of the nose. And of course if it's going to come down onto the bridge of the nose, it's going to come higher than that first. So a similar line from this position here, as here and show that, but this travels shorter from there, but still, and it goes out to that action here, and come back, comes back the same way. Just make sure you avoid hitting thumbs, 
holding onto your hips there, that's quite common as well. On the last position here, towards the, the last punch of the kata, this is a, it's not a full block, it's not a poke, it's in between, you're grabbing. It's like grabbing someone's hand, the grabbing the guard, just shifting out of the way so that you can punch onto that target. The last couple of moves, we step onto that same line. If you imagine a line running across here, step onto that line, step onto that line again, and come around either I think an elbow strike here or elbow strike here. This followed by sliding across there. On those last two moves, there's things to look out for are the proximity of the hand. Sometimes we see this, it's almost like you're hugging and pulling in, or, or even swinging punches. It should be compact and close, so the fist would go from here, striking to there. This would go from here, immediately elbow back there. So, this quick, these quick actions there. They're also very important. So keep your body in, keep your elbows into your side. Just like punching, really, make sure they stay close to your body. And that's hand sandal.